today's the day. It's been two years. Two years since we got an MCU on the big screen. Parking lot's full. You can smell it in the air. Enough with the Disney Plus shit. They cool, but they only 30 minutes to 50 minutes, man. We finally back in theaters with the MCU. Black Widow, I'll let y'all know. Black Widow. Scarlett Johansson's first solo movie in the MCU after what? 10 years? <laughs> Congratulations for all the work, man. <laughs> but no, I mean, I mean, look, before I get into anything, I do got to say this though. This shit should have been done years ago. Like, seriously, years ago. Especially how this story is, in like comparison to the overall greater MCU. It's really like a DLC or an expansion pack. Like, thank you for watching um, Iron Man up to Endgame. Here's a little special uh, event for you. And it was the, and it just so happened to be a Black Widow solo movie. So that's how kind of this is. Um, it helps, tells us more about who Black Widow is, her background, um, her other family and whatnot. But in comparison to like, does this push the whole MCU story on? No, <laughs> absolutely not. This is a Black Widow solo film and that's it. It honestly works amazing as just its own action movie. Like, like seriously, I, I, I was sitting back watching, I was like, damn, if this wasn't in the MCU and this was just its own thing, this would be great. <laughs> and, and it's not that it wasn't great. It just wasn't great compared to like, some of the greatness that the MCU has already given us. But anyways, I digress. Let's talk about the movie here. Um, Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, obviously. She's returning here. Uh, it's directed by Kate Shortland. Never heard of her. And then the thing that got me worried when the opening credits were rolling, three writers. I'm like, ooh, that's a little bit too many cooks in the kitchen here, so... I'll see how this plays out, right? And um, for the most part, it was cool. There was a, there were some hit or miss moments, but it's Black Widow. It's dwelling into her past of like like the Red Room, which is this Russian spy organization that basically created her, you know. Um, and all these super kick ass soldier spy females, right? And as we learn about Black Widow, she broke from that organization, joined S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers and whatnot. She thought she took that agency down when she left. Come to find out, that wasn't the case. They're still operating and even more nefariously than ever. So she's on a mission to try and take them down. She runs into um, her, her past and like her past family. And it's all catching up to her, basically. So, um, the supporting cast is great, though. Uh, Florence Pugh played her sister Elena, which I guess is supposed to be like Black Widow Junior or something. She was badass, though. She she kicked ass. And out of all of the cast, she had the best Russian accent. And let me tell you, these Russian accents were coming in. And going out, <laughs> especially David Harborough. David Harborough played the Red Guardian and like kind of um, uh, Scarlett Johansson's like Russian father because they're a Russian family spy team that we learn at the start of the film, right? And they have to go back to Russia because they did their mission and shit. And then she gets thrown to the Red Room with her sister. And yeah, but David Harbour is the Red Guardian, who is like the Russian version of Captain America. <laughs> and just this dude steals every scene, man. <laughs> he was so good. He was so good because think of like what Captain America stands for. But like he's Russian and he's just a, he's an idiot. <laughs> he's a fucking idiot. But like he he's so He's so charming in this role as like this Russian badass dude that stands for like 
freedom and liberty, but like for the Russian side of things. So it's a little bit different than Captain America, but he plays it so well. And like I said, steals every scene. Uh, Rachel Weiss plays like their like surrogate mom of like the whole spy family here. And I gotta say, there's a lot of white women that age like milk. She ain't aging like milk, dog. She still look good. So she still look good f from this point all the way back to when I first saw her in the first Mummy, right? But yeah, um, the one downer thing about this would probably be the villains of like the Red Room who like the bosses were operating that was just some asshole Russian guy. I mean, he was despicable. Don't get it twisted. Um, named like Drakov. And then he has this uh, assassin that fights for him called Taskmaster. Now, if you know the comics or if you played the Spider-Man game, you know who Taskmaster is and what um, that person can do. And here, it's like that, like, Taskmaster can see someone fight, watch highlights, or live in person, and instantly can, like, do it. Can do their moves, and, like, sometimes even better than they can. So that's a pretty formidable foe, right? Uh, there's just no personality to that character. It just comes in, destroys shit, fights our heroes, and then goes out. And then it'll come back in... And it's rinse, wash, repeat with with that. And we don't get to know the character. The reveal of the character. You see it coming from a mile away. And if you don't, you gotta look harder. Because it's staring you right in the face there, man. Over and over again. <laughs> over and over again. Yeah, but... Despite all that, that, that... Like, I still enjoyed this movie. Even though it was like a... a uh, uh, let's say a week in the life of Black Widow has no real relevance over the overall MCU story. But it was just nice to get her own solo film. Sh should have been done years ago, like I said. The action's well done. You can see what's happening. It's not perfect, but like you can still see what's going on. Um, I love the climax. Uh, and you see it in the trailers, but it's crazy. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, man, like, the main thing for me was just being back in a the theater for an MCU film because it's a different beast, man. <laughs> like, the Disney Plus shows, they good. Like, don't get it twisted. They good. But they just ain't the movies. It's a different beast that we're dealing with here, man. Sitting in a the theater, big screen, Booming speakers, right? Um, the uh, intro pumps up. It's a different beast being there, man. <laughs> because watching that on the TV and then going straight into like a 30 minute, 50 minute show, cool, it's all right. But like, this was a two plus hour movie. You feel it a little bit, but it's. It was just great being back watching the MCU movie on the big screen. Because it's been two years, so I might go again. I'll say that. And I do recommend people go out and see this, especially if you're fans of the MCU, obviously. So, yeah, y'all. There's also one more thing I got to say. Souvenirs. <laughs> I don't know why I got this. I was walking in and be like, hey. Do you want a Black Widow popcorn tin? I'm like, is it free? He's like, sure. <laughs> I was like, well, sure, nigga, it's not yes or no. Um, <laughs> he's like, you can't get popcorn with it, but you can have it. I'm like, all right, cool, nigga, say less. 